Hey, what up everyone? Have you had this problem where your Blizzard app just doesn't show any feeds or any news or any announcement for any of your installed games? Well, today we'll see how to solve that problem. Yeah, so like you can see here, I have my Blizzard app and I'm trying to open up Overwatch as well as other games and you can see that I do not have the feed or the news showing up on any other games that I have installed. But for example, Hearthstone, as you can see there, uh, it had the news feed. Here in StarCraft, I do not have the news feed. And usually this depends on certain issues if the Blizzard app is correctly connecting into the server and getting all the feed from the news. So in this case, what I did is I just went ahead and cleared all of my cache or all my data that I had for Blizzard app, like so. So I went up, opened up uh, CCleaner. Uh, I usually don't suggest using a third party app, but just in case, just go ahead and clear out the, the catch. Then go into your C folder and here your C folder, we'll try and remove from the program data. We'll take away all the folders that are related to Blizzard. In this case, my file.net folder. I'm gonna go ahead and remove it as well as my Blizzard Entertainment folder. As you can see here, it has some files there uh, saved up. Some of them are configuration, some of them are telemetry. Some of them are actually catch. So what we're going to do is we're going to also delete this folder. And this way we remove any kind of configuration that is set up for the Blizzard app. Now have in mind that this will not change your games. But most likely the app how it is working within your system. After that go ahead and open up your run. And go into the app, the app data folder. And here what we want to do is we want to remove as well. The folder that has battle.net and uh, if you have any blizzard entertainment folder then just go ahead and take it away as well so as you can see here i removed battle.net folder now i'm going to try and open up battle.net or you know the new blizzard app software and it will take a while for for a few minutes because it's trying to update the blizzard agent and you are good to go. So now from here, after the Blizzard app has completely installed and it has added all the different files that it needs to add, you'll notice that your app data as well as your program data has been recreated for the current date with the changes. Then just go ahead and put in your Blizzard credentials, in this case, your email address as well as your password and load into your Blizzard app with the patch notes and pretty much you're good to go. The problem is solved. Now, in this case, since I've removed all the different configurations, the Blizzard app doesn't know where my games are. So I just go ahead and make sure that all my software is found. So in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and locate my games. Uh, I'm just adding the folders where my games are installed. Obviously, they're not installed in the same C folder. And from there, that's it. As you can see here, the, the Blizzard app will show up all the different games that are available for Blizzard. And if I just go through my... My, my games uh, within Blizzard app, then you realize that now I have the feed as well as the news. Here World of Warcraft is showing up, but if I go further into StarCraft, you can see that I have the news. Here's the Storm, I also have the news. And obviously Overwatch, which is the one that I play the most, uh, you can see that I have the feed and the news. And then I'll just reconfigure, change the size and everything for the way that I like it. Pretty much that's the way you solve this issue. So guys, I hope this was helpful enough for you to fix your Blizzard app issue with the feeds not working properly. If you like the video, just go ahead and click on the thumbs up. I actually have more videos for tutorials on streaming, gaming, uh, computer enthusiasts, building, and so on. Just go ahead and click on the cards on top. Also, if you would like to support me, you can go ahead and click on the links in the description below. Those are Amazon affiliate links. And you can go ahead and purchase anything you like and you will support me. Again, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.